Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you? I hope you are doing well. Today is my collab with the Birthstone Beauties. This is for December. And thank you to Tracy over at Tracy Lee Beauty for reminding me it was that time of month. I did not realize it was this late in December. Even though I knew it was coming, I didn't realize it was already the 10th. Well, this is on the 9th, late on the 9th. And usually I try to have it filmed a couple days early because it does take some time to edit and whatnot, but no. So I'm hoping this is up at the nine o'clock mark. I've already primed and set my eyes, so we are just going to go in. And I do have a few factoids. In fact, I have a lot of factoids because, well, December has five, five birthstones. The modern birthstones are blue topaz, tanzanite, and blue zircon with the blue zircon and the blue topaz kind of battling it out for the top seat. And I'm not quite sure that they are. The other two birthstones, which are more ancient birthstones, are the turquoise and the lapis lazuli. And we will talk about all five of them. Not as in-depth as I usually go, but definitely I will be talking about all of them. I'm just laying down rose quartz from the So Jaded palette just to give me a little bit of an anchor because this is a blue heavy look. What all five of these birthstones have in common is they're all blue. They're all blue. Thankfully, turquoise and the lapis lazuli or lapis um, has some minerals and oxides running through it. So I feel very comfortable laying down a little bit of brown since those stones have those colors running through them, but not a whole lot. So I'm not putting down a, a ton, even though I'd like to. Okay, I did not make the print big enough, I see, for my little eyeballs. All right, so let's talk about the Blue Zircon first. It is stated that the Blue Zircon is the most popular modern birthstone for December, but it also says that about the Blue Topaz. So that's why I said they're battling it out. The Blue Zircon is a natural, magnificent and underrated gemstone. Um, some people, when I was reading, believed that the cubic zirconium is a zircon. No, not at all. Zircon is a natural gemstone and it has been worn and treasured since ancient days. In the Middle Ages, zircon was said to aid in resting bringing about prosperity, honor, and wisdom to the owner. The name Zircon derives from the Persian word Zargan, which means gold-hued. And it said, and this is, I quote, the word Zargan was corrupted into Jargoon, which is a term applied to the light-colored zircons that are found naturally. The English word zircon is derived from the, German the Germanic adaptation of the word zircon. A natural zircon is actually very rare. Um, colorless zircons 
are the purest form of uh of the of the mineral and are described as being diamond like but they're very rare and in fact they're more rare than a diamond a colorless zircon is in spite of that they are less valuable than a diamond and my guess is because they are a softer stone but it, I could not find why they are less valuable, but that's my guess. When you think of a zircon, what comes to mind usually is the bright blue, somewhat the color of the sky. The natural color of zircons vary between colorless, like I talked about, yellow, golden, red, brown, blue, and green. Green is the, is the rarest natural color of zircon that you can find. Blue is the most popular and the most expensive, but it it is mostly heat treated. Zircon is a mineral that belongs to the mesosilicates and it is a source of metal zirconium and its chemical name is zirconium silicate. Blue zircon is found in Sri Lanka, Cambodia, Myanmar, Thailand, Australia, and Canada. So let's talk about the blue topaz. Since the blue topaz and the blue zircon think that they are equal in who is the most popular stone, I put them together at the top of this list. After this, they're in no particular order. Order, not odor, but order. So blue topaz is another of the modern birthstones. In fact, the pure topaz is a colorless stone and it becomes blue when it is heat treated whether it's heat treated naturally or artificially it's natural stone is colorless and the blue topaz can vary in intensity so you can get a really rich deep blue topaz or you can get a really light like almost sky blue topaz it is often associated with loyalty and love. It represents eternal romance and friendship. It also symbolizes honesty, clarity of feelings, and deep emotional attachment. And I quote, because of its fiery energy, the sun-filled gemstone is certainly associated with high self-esteem and good fortune. It is a gemstone that strengthens one's confidence and trust in one's inner power and abilities. Now, I do have quite a bit of information about the tanzanite and why I have so much is because it's actually pretty darn interesting. The tanzanite was formed around 585 million years ago. That's a couple of years. It definitely wasn't 2020. During the mid Ediacaran period. I've never heard of that period before. It formed by massive plate tectonic activity and intense heat all within one small area. The mineral tanzanite is located in a relatively complex geological um, environment. It is typically found in the hinges of isoclinal folds. It is a one-of-a-kind gemstone unlike any other, and the only place it is found on this earth is at the foothills of Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. I would say would make it a little harder to come by. Tanzanite possesses an exotic velvety hue with a rich overtone of purple, making for a color that is truly unlike any other. Today, tanzanite is one of the most popular blue colored gemstones, and it comes in a variety of striking 
shades of blue. It is rarely a pure blue color and it almost always displays its signature purple overtones throughout it. Smaller sized tanzanites contain lighter tones of blue and have a lavender color running through them, while larger sized tanzanites display a deeper, rich, and more beautiful blue. Tanzanite can also appear differently when viewed in different lighting conditions. The blue is more present when it's under fluorescent light, but in incandescent light, the violet hues of the stone are more prominent. In its rough state, tanzanite is a reddish brown to clear shade, and it requires it to be heat treated in order to remove that brownish veil. Tanzanite received its name from Tiffany & Company. Yeah, that Tiffany and Company. They named it after the country where it's found, Tanzania. Even though the scientific name for it is Blue Violet Zoocyte, Tiffany and Company didn't believe that was a consumer friendly name. And so in 1968, the name was changed. And in 2002, the American Gem Trade Association chose tanzanite as its December birthstone, making it the first change in their birthstone list since 1912. Okay, turquoise. We all know a good turquoise. Turquoise is described as an opaque blue to green mineral that is is actually a hydrated phosphate of copper and aluminum. <laughs> I found that absolutely interesting. I had never heard of that before. And turquoise is actually considered rare and valuable in its finer grades. For thousands of years, turquoise has been prized not only as a gemstone, but also as an ornamental stone. It is associated with connections to the spirit world, psychic sensitivity, and protection from harm and negative energy. The gemstone is a symbol of friendship, and it brings peace to the home and good fortune to the owner. It is considered to be a purification stone. It balances and aligns all chakras. It stabilizes mood swings, instills inner calm. It is excellent for depression and exhaustion. It has the power to prevent panic attacks. It promotes self-realization and assists creative problem solving. The most prized color of a turquoise is an even intense medium blue sometimes referred to as a robin egg or sky blue, and it's also described as a, as a Persian blue even if the turquoise isn't mined. In the Nishapur district of Iran, people all over the world revere the turquoise as a good luck stone, and it has been viewed as such for thousands and thousands of years. Now, the last stone is the lapis lazuli. Now, the lapis lazuli, or lapis for short, is described as a deep blue metamorphic rock. It is a semi-precious stone, and it has been a prized possession since ancient times, due to its intense coloring. The lapis lazuli is a mixture of minerals with lazurite being the main constituent. Lapis lazuli is typically blue or purple. It is also modeled with white calcite and brassy pyrite. As early as the 7th millennium BC, lapis lazuli was mined in the Sari Seng mines of Shore to Guy. It was also mined in other areas in Badakashan province in northeast Afghanistan. There are artifacts that have been found using lapis lazuli dated back to 7570 BC. 
that's old. Those artifacts were found in Barana, which is the oldest site of Indus Valley civilization where lapis is known to be found. And lapis beads have been found at Neolithic burials in Mergar in the Caucasus as far away as Mauritania. It's also found in larger amounts in the mines west of Lake Baikal in Russia and in the Andes Mountains of Chile. In fact, Chile is the source for the Incan lapis lazuli, which they use to carve artifacts and jewelry from. So they have been mining lapis in Chile for a heck of a long time. Smaller quantities are mined in Pakistan, Italy, Mongolia, the U.S., and in Canada. All right, guys, this is my final look for the birthstone beauties for the month of December. I had so much fun doing this collab with these wonderful women. Make sure you go check them out. All of their links will be down below. I love each and every one of them like they were my sisters and I am just grateful that they provided me with the opportunity to collab with them and to to get to know them and also spread my wings. As far as makeup goes, I would have never thought to do looks like this one today where I use many different shades of blue and the end result is I really, really like it. It's different than my norm, but I don't care. It's fun and it's, it embraces all the shades. And I'm sorry that I had to do a voiceover with this one because of there being five birthstones in the month of December. It was the only way I was going to be able to incorporate all the, all the little factoids and still be able to do this video in a more timely fashion. Sometimes that happens. I hope you enjoyed this, this collab that we did. I know I did and I learned so much. That's it guys. Please take good care of yourself. Be safe, be smart, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.